Hello everyone, I will now explain to you the parts of a micro irrigation system. So we'll, you will first have your water source that would be either be a well or a lake or some sort of water source. And from that you pump the water through this irrigation canal to the main line. In the main line you have the main control unit. In this main control unit, the first you will have a pressure, a pressure gauge followed by a fertigation unit. This could either be used as a fertigation tank or in this case a venturi tube. And then you have the, the filter which comes immediately after the fertigation unit. And then after that you have the air release valve and another pressure regulator. From this the main line continues to the sub main line, laterals and then to your sprinklers or your drippers. Uh, so th this is one of the types of filters that you can control, uh, connect to your main control unit. And here as you can see this is a disc, uh, disc filter. So it has a number of discs that is arranged in this manner. And the other type is a screen filter. And the other type is a screen filter. And as you can see there is a screen in the middle. So the water enters through this duct and is filtered out. As you can see, this is a pressure release valve that you use with, within the main system. And in this, uh, this is usually uh, set after the filters. And here, the objective of this is to safeguard your system from high pressures that may occur. So, as you can see, this pressure valve has threads. And as you can see, the inner threads do not go all the way across this. As I mentioned earlier, there are two ways to add a fertigation unit to your system. So, this is a venturi system. The other is a fertigation tank that you will add into the uh, to the main control system. So in this, the main components are a Venturi system, which uh, this system causes a reduce in pressure around here because of this small uh, gradual, uh, the narrowing of the pipe. And because of this, so you have filter here that is then dipped into the fer uh, fertilizer bucket. And uh, this causes fertilizer to be absorbed into the pipe. Here you have the sub main line that comes from the main line. And then you, uh, to connect laterals into the sub main line, you have a saddle clamp, which is this. So there's a hole which connects to the saddle clamp. And then uh, there's the male connector, which is followed by a ball valve. And then finally a male adapter. From the male adapter, you then go to a lateral pipe, which then leads to a T connector, followed by a riser pipe, and finally the sprinkler head. And then finally, uh, at the end of the lateral, you have the line end. In a drip irrigation system, you connect the laterals directly using a grow mat and a starter connector. Uh, the lateral then leads to the drippers. This is an inline dripper. And over here, you have the pressure compensating as well as non pressure compensating drippers. This is a non-pressure compensating dripper. As you can see, it only has this uh, pattern. And in the compensating dripper, you have a silicon diaphragm which stabilizes the pressure and doesn't allow for damages to the system. Now we are in the field. And since you've already identified the major components of a micro irrigation system, we will now demonstrate how it's been used in the real world. This is a fertigation tank that I mentioned earlier. So in it you have the drain out and a pressure gauge that you can fix. And this is the inlet while this is the outlet. So as you can see in this, the inlet has a deeper tube while the outlet has a shallower tube. Due to this, fertilizer of low concentration first re is released from the tank and the fertilizer with higher concentration sediments at the bottom. 
and this is a problem with the fertigation tank.